<laughs> Fireworks that go boom! Hey, where'd that come from? <laughs> the Shane Gang! Good, you remember us. So I'm pretty sure you can guess what'll happen next. <laughs> What are you doing with all these Fandango slugs? Huh. I know they have tons of slug energy, but aren't they pretty useless in a fight? That slug energy is precisely why we need them. They aren't for dueling. We're taking them to Bullseye Cavern. Something is forcing the native slugs to abandon the place, turning it into a dead zone. We need an infusion of Fandango's slug energy to attract the native slugs back. Oh, so you're hoping the Fandangos will jumpstart the cavern and bring it back to life. Every time we try to deliver the slugs, those two shut us down. Lock and load. They work for Dr. Black. They've blown up nearly every passage in and out of Bullseye from the west. And now our mechas are trashed. We'll never get the slugs there in time. We'll take them for you. We will? Oh, ah, uh, yes. We will. So it's true. You really are Will Shane's kid. Well, we need a Shane right now. Bullseye doesn't get these slugs by the end of the day. We'll lose it for good. Huh, no pressure. <sighs> You're a good kid, Eli Shane. Well, let's load them up. What? The Shane Gang's taking the load to Bullseye? Uh, that's not good, is it? Do you think we should call the boss? Did you get knocked in the head again? Not a word to black about this. If he finds out, he'll send reinforcements. This is our job. We'll take care of them ourselves and collect us a huge reward. reward. Just think of what we could do with all that money, Load. We could buy us a lot of gold. <laughs> OK, break it down for me again. The caverns run on slug energy. Didn't you learn this in school like the rest of us? Must have been homesick that day. Right. Well, the energy that makes all life possible here is strongest in the slugs. Wherever they are, things live. Without them... Got it. Dead zone. I just don't get why Black would want to let that happen to an entire cavern. Ah! Oh, no, no! <laughs> <laughs> Trying to box us in. Pronto, lead us back out. I believe they have accomplished their diabolical goal. I curse their success. This way, it's our only chance. <laughs> <laughs> we done crush them, Shane. We yeah, have little brother. Best we get down there and make sure. They're a crafty bunch. 
Well, that was fun. And when I say fun, I mean... Oh, my head. We're alive? That's good, right? Pronto, where are we? Hmm, let me see. Hmm, let's see. Uh... <laughs> oh! <laughs> ah, yes, here we go. We are completely cut off from our destination. Uh, would you like me to be more specific? Is there another path? Nope. A uh, secret passage? Nope. Anything? Well, uh, no. Ah, uh, I heard a well. What is it, Pronto? Well, uh, maybe there is a route we could take, but we'd be fools to do so. Usually when you say things like that, it ends up being fun. Oh, no, 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 no. Not this time. The only other way to Bullseye is a path fraught with peril. It's dark, long, twisting, and cuts right through the territory of... The Shadow Clan! Guys? No, no, no! You're not actually considering! You are! No! We didn't get them all blown up! Told you they were crafty. Well, if they're so crafty, why are they going that way? That's Shadow Clan territory! Uh, we can follow? I'd rather face black than what's down that passage. They'll never make it through, but we should be prepared, just in case. The Dark Periphery, home of the Shadow Clan. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I mean, no one has ever managed to capture the Shadow Clan on film. At least, no one who's managed to live. You're unusually quiet, Pronto. Pronto is not quiet. Pronto is speechless. The most evil things in all of Slagterra, and we are strolling into their backyard. I've seen them before, remember? They're scary, sure, but they can't be that bad. Maybe they're just misunderstood. What? What? You said it yourself. We're only just skirting through the edge of their territory. They probably won't even know we're here. I hear something. Everyone, against the rock! Is this really necessary? Shh. Okay, yes it is. Nobody move! This Shadow Clan have excellent vision, a keen sense of smell, and a penchant for scary Molinoids to their early deaths. I don't see them. We were lucky. Let's count our blessings and uh, uh, turn back. We can't turn back. Bullseye needs those slugs. Oh, fine. The sooner we're there, the sooner we're out of this wretched place. My dad used to tell me about the Shadow Clan. How they can talk to slugs, and how they've been here forever. Uh, guys, I don't want to freak you out, but there's something moving behind us. I thought we lost them. I know several Molinoid tracking tricks that should confuse them. Hmm, dry rock. No tracks for them to follow. And, ah, we are done wind. So no scent for them to pick up. Follow my lead. How fortunate you are to be in the company of the best tracker in Slagterra. Guys, we gotta step on it. What? Preposterous! Uh, okay, uh, time for another incredible Molinoid skill. <laughs> Escape! <laughs> There, you see? My evasive tactics were a grand success. But praise for Pronto can wait until we get to Bullseye. If I never see the Shadow Clan again, it will be too soon. Uh, guys? There's more of them. We should get a closer look. What? Are you kidding? You're not kidding. 
You know what? You should get more. Okay, you got your closer look. We better scram. Look, the path ahead is too exposed. If we move now, everyone down there is gonna see us. We need some kind of distraction. I don't like the looks of this. I'm right there with you. They're distracted. This is our chance. Look on the bright side. No one's ever been this close to the Shadow Clan. <laughs> Just checking the lens cap. We're sorry we had to cross through your territory, but we have a good reason. If we don't get these slugs to Bullseye Cavern, then the cavern will go dark. It'll die. Hey, those aren't yours. Do you understand me at all? Bullseye Cavern needs these slugs. Let's go. Lucky for them. Thank you. Burpee, what did you say to them? Huh? Well, whatever it was, good job. Begin singing my praises. Now what? Release the Fandangos. They'll find somewhere to roost, and then this will all be over. Here you go, little fellas. Don't be shy. not supposed to happen, is it? They definitely don't like something in here. Maybe we're too late. Where are you guys going? <laughs> Stay with me, Burpee. Keep your slugs close. Whatever this is, it's affecting them, too. <laughs> <laughs> Knee pad to Bullseye Cavern. <laughs> we blowed it up good. <laughs> Fate gang, they made it! <laughs> it don't matter! They're too late! The cavern's dead, their slugs are bugging out! 
I'll be with you guys in a second. We can still save this cavern. Pronto, I need you to round up the Fandango slugs. It would be my pleasure. Trixie, maybe you can figure out what's making them leave? On it. Cord. Say no more. Now, I think it's time we settled this. You two want to do us. Unless you want to hug it out instead. <laughs> you can't win! <laughs> and not only that, you're gonna lose! <laughs> So, that's the way it's going to be, huh? I know you don't like it here, Jules, but please stick around, okay? Run all you want! Run to kill! We do this all day! You're only tiring yourself out! What exactly am I looking for? The Fandango slugs! How did you do that? Curse you beasts! I know you want to get out of here, but I have an idea and I need your help. <laughs> Hope this works. You don't like going this way, do you? <laughs> Bullseye! Whoa! So that explains it! I've got to get Eli! <laughs> I'm almost out of slugs. Me too. And if they get chased away with the rest of them, we'll have an even bigger problem. No slugs at all. <laughs> Minute, kid. You lost. Yeah, and we won. So then, why are they smiling? I'll give you a hint. <laughs> Nice try! Fright guy slug. Nice shot, Trixie. Thanks. Our trip to Deadweed has really paid off. You're gonna wanna see this. Dark water? Yep. This is what was driving the slugs away. Black thought he could ghoul this entire cavern. And I've got just the cure. That's a lot of dark water. You sure Doc can neutralize it all? What do you think, Doc? Up for a swim? Steam. Yeah! Success! Uh, only one? No, it's perfect. Fire it into the hole. The good energy in it will help counteract the dark kind. Pronto, hurry! <laughs> it's working! We need more! Nice job, Burpee.
I don't get. Why of all caverns did Black want to empty out this place? Because this is the exact center of Slug Terra. Get it? Bullseye. This was nothing but a land grab, and Black was staking his claim with dark water. Uh, looks like we figured everything out. Not everything. I can't stop thinking about why the Shadow Clan let us go. Sure wish you could tell us what you know about them. I did it! I'm the first person to ever capture the Shadow Clan on film! Uh, congratulations? I know. Isn't it great? When this footage gets out, it's gonna be massive! All right. We'll lay low for a while. Then find a way to get back to that kid and his gang. Yeah, get them good. Make Black help in. Make us happy. We send a message. No one messes with lock and load. Not happy. <clears throat> Point of order, Your Honor. I beg the court's indulgence to plead for my, uh, not guiltiness. It was a simple misunderstanding, really. <clears throat> Spitting on the sidewalk is illegal in this town. Judge Logan has us enforce the law with no exceptions. It's just gone! In conclusion, I throw myself on the mercy of the court. Oh, please, Your Honor. Pretty, 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 please, with the uh, 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 chocolate sauce on it. Guilty. <laughs> well, he did actually do it. So let's just pay the fine and get out of here. Fifty years, hard labor. <laughs> Fifty years? <laughs> oh, it's all my fault. I had to do something to stop him from stealing my gum. I thought it would teach him a lesson. Your Honor, you can't be serious. Fifty years for spitting on the sidewalk? Look, I'm Eli Shane, and I want to see justice done, too. But this is... A Shane, huh? Never much cared for the Shanes. But in your case, I'll make an exception. And not put you away for aggravated sass! Lock him up! Wait! This is a travesty of justice! Ah! I've got my eye on you. I'm an innocent fool! Trixie, Cord, we need to poke around this jail and see what it's made of. Why? Because we're gonna bust Pronto out. <laughs> Some kind of criminal mastermind? Hmm? Uh, why, yes. Uh, yes, indeed. I am the head of a vast organization, infamous for its villainy and... Sharp attire. I thought you were pinched for spitting gum. Uh, true, but that was the least of my crimes. Uh, what are you in for? Public speaking. He's in for breathing too loud, and they locked him up for aggravated smiling. Yeah, that Judge Logan has a real racket going. He, he locks you up for breaking ridiculous laws and then sells you off for hard labor. And not just any hard labor. I hear they send you to work for Dr. Black. <gasps> Dr. Black? That's what my source tells me. Judge Logan clears out his jails and Black gets free workers for his smelters. Well, how long do we have? Few days, maybe. Then we need to move fast. Now let's go over the plan. This delivers supplies to the jail every day. Paid the driver to take his place. If we pull this off, we'll cut away everyone undetected. Good. Remember, guys, Pronto isn't the only one in there who's been unjustly locked up. There are other prisoners in there that need our help. 
Then we can put a stop to that judge. Now, tell me about the shot I've got to make. It's pretty close to impossible, so I got you this. Pretty awesome. Yeah, that SVX 5000 scope gives you every angle, every reading, every trajectory <laughs> to make amazing shots. And I mail ordered this speed stinger slug to go with the scope. He's the only slug that can make it work, because all the scope's data and angles are put right into his little high-tech goggles. Hi, stunts. Welcome to the team. Now, let's go over the plan. First, Cord will drive up to the jail and act casual, like he's delivering supplies. Trixie will make sure the guard is distracted and give me the sign. Then it's all up to me and the speed stinger. And if everything goes according to plan. We hit velocity, ricochet off the wagon, rebound off the flagpole, make its way to the cooling tower, make a series of bank shots to the jail roof. Go in through the air vent, make a bank shot, a quick roll, spring the lock, into the cage, open the cuffs, and with the coast clear, get everyone to safety without anyone being the wiser. Okay, guys, let's go spring pronto. Just trust the high-tech stuff, right? This is a little confusing. I hope you're getting all these stunts. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh. Not good. That was a complete and total disaster. What did we tell you, Eli? The one weak spot in your plan is that nobody can make that shot. Yeah, nobody. Well, except maybe Mario Bravado. Mario who? What? Oh, come on. Mario Bravado? Only the greatest trick shot slinger ever. Here, check it out. He could make any shot. Yeah, had his own show and everything. What happened to him? Apparently he dropped out of the spotlight and now owns a restaurant out in the middle of nowhere. Well, I think it's time Mario Bravado made a comeback, and fast. This can't be the right place. Why would a trick shot legend live here? Hey, welcome to Ricochet Pizza. We sling the best pies and slug Terra. What can I get you? Are you Mario Bravado? No, I'm Mario the pizza guy. Look, I think I know who you are, and I've been told that only Mario Bravado can make the trick shot I need. Sorry, that Mario's retired. The only things I sling now are pizza pies. So if you want to keep talking, order something. See, a friend of mine has... Uh, uh, uh. No pizza, no talking. Oh, okay. I'll have the... Super Slinger Super Cheese. Order up! One Super Super Cheese! All right, let me tell you about the shot I need from you. See, a friend of mine... I already told you, I'm retired. <sighs> I'll never, ever... Ever fire a slug again. This is a matter of life and death. Judge Logan has been selling prisoners to Dr. Black and... <laughs> what you really need help with is your hearing. I said no! <laughs> that went well. So I'm surrounded by fire scorpions, but they realize I am the toughest molinoid they've ever seen. Then what happened? <laughs> One simple nod, and the entire pack scurries away in fear. That's why my organization will bust me out of here. You see, it's about fear and the respect. Kind of a fearful respect. The Molinoid is trouble, especially with the shame in his corner. Sooner we have them out of here, the better. See what you can do. <sighs> Listen, I... I said no! Now scram! I'm just here to, uh, eat. 
Ugh. Can't believe I ate that much pizza. Look, my friend is in real trouble. This isn't for me, it's for him. They tell me you're the only one who can make the shot I need. That's all? Well... Well? Sounds like more trouble than it's worth, kid. Forget it. I'm done slinging. Forever. What happened to you? Excuse me? You were some big hero, then you just disappeared. Uh, I'm no hero. I was a kid with a TV show, that's all. I know a little bit about being famous, you know. My dad was Will Shane. What? Really? Well, you could have mentioned that. Would it have changed your mind? Nope. All right, then. Sorry I wasted your time. And mine. Wait, I'm not gonna take the shot. But if it's that important, I'll teach you how to do it. Should be no problem for a Shane. I hope you're a good teacher, because I don't have a lot of time. Okay, that's three large, no onion. Thanks for calling ricochets. Okay, remember, 90% of trick shooting is half mental. So first things first, we make the pizza. Uh, what? Uh, if it helps my friend, I'll try anything. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Uh, making pizza? Relax, we'll get to that. First things first, figure out the order, the layers. Plan it out in your head. Can you guess what I'm looking at right now? The ingredients. Uh, wrong. I'm looking at the finished pizza in my head. When you start something, always know what it is you're wanting to finish. In this case, we're making what? Three large pizzas, the works. It's about lining up all the ingredients together. You wanna see why this place is called Ricochet Pizza? Wow, that's great. But they said no onion. Good, you're paying attention. Now make three large pizzas, the works, no onion. We need to make the whole pizza in one shot. Ricochet pizza, remember? Right. Okay, let's do that again. High-tech stuff just doesn't get it done like finely honed instincts. You got them. You just have to trust them. Okay, so now do we do some slinging? If you mean slinging more pizzas, yes. Okay, hit this with pepperoni without looking. How was that? Uh... I think you need a little more honing. You're improving, Eli, but you gotta relax. Okay, when do I learn to shoot? That's what you've been doing. You just don't know it yet. You've got a trick shooter's heart, Eli, and I've never seen anyone so connected with their slugs, other than me. So why did you quit? I haven't told anyone this, you know. I was at the top of my game. Felt like nothing could go wrong. I guess I was a little too cocky. One day I was offered a job, and I refused. Probably said a few things I shouldn't have. I got called out. If I lost, I'd have to quit forever. I thought I couldn't be beat. I was wrong. I got hit by a slug I had never seen before. Never want to see it again. It was a ghoul, wasn't it? You duel black. Doesn't matter. I'm a man of my word, and I told you I'd train you. So, have you and Stunts figured it out?
Yes, pretty good, kid. And even though you forgot to add extra cheese, I think you're ready. You know Dr. Black is a cheat. He'd never hold up his end of the bargain. You don't owe him anything. Huh? This world needs you. So do I. <laughs> okay, we're in. Really? Great. But you're making the shot. Good news. I got trained up and I brought Mario Bravado to back me up. <laughs> hey, yeah, look at you. Wow, you're really Mario Bravado. Do you remember the episode of your show, number 56, where you shot that slug right? Lord, we don't have time for this. Nice to meet you, Mario. <laughs> Love the jacket. We got some bad news, Eli. They're leaving. Now. <sighs> I didn't plan for this. I planned for a trick shot to break him out of jail. You can do it, kid. Put all your ingredients together. It's just as easy as making a pizza. What have they been doing? Guys, we need to get a move on. It's been a while, hasn't it, friend? You're gonna sling? You're not afraid of black. I don't have to be either. It's time to come out of retirement, but you're still making the shot. Right, Cord? Catch that train! Machine gang? Step on it! There they are! <laughs> They've come for me! Hey, who's that other guy? Hey, this boss Pronto's the real deal. He's got Mario Bravado in his gang. Well, of course! I taught Mario Bravado everything he knows! Mario, who? Hey, Eli! We got trouble up ahead! Once the express goes in that tunnel, we won't be able to follow. It'll be too late! <laughs> Talk about a trick shot! Take out the guards, free Pronto, and try to stay on this wagon! Cord, you focus on driving! Trixie, we'll need you as a spotter! <laughs> <laughs> Two guards on top of the train! Did you see that shot? Don't get cocky, kid. That tunnel's getting closer fast! Yeah, I think they just picked up speed. I got four more guards and we still have to get the prisoners loose. Here we go, kid. Sling it like you mean it. One shot! That's impossible! No, it's not! Just remember what I taught you. Find the ingredients, the layers, plan it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stunts. Let's do this.
it happen? We've got a major problem! Ah! Cord, getting close! Mario, this one's all you, buddy! Step back, everyone! Great shot! Everyone, get out of there! Come on! I'm running out of land! Oh no! Now that's slinging some pizza! You said it, kid. Hmm. All this talk of pizza has given Pronto a powerful hunger for the extra cheese. Ah, oh, it was hard on the inside, let me tell you. And the food was atrocious. Pronto, you were barely in jail two days. And yet, I survived. You can still make the best trick shots. If you're ever ready to make a comeback for real, you've got a spot on our team. Thanks. But I think I'll stick to slinging pizzas for now. But someday, hey, who knows? <laughs> it's great we got Pronto out, but what are we gonna do about Judge Logan? Give him a taste of his own medicine. Sorry, Your Honor. Spitting's illegal in these parts. Oh, no way! I was framed! That gum was awful, like hot sauce and rotten fish! We enforce the law with no exceptions. Your orders, sir. What? Wait! Hold on! This is ridiculous! Trixie, wait up! What's the deal? One minute we're having breakfast, and the next, you tear off on your mecca. Yeah, I mean, I said I was sorry. It wasn't my fault. It was Pronto's cooking. It takes an iron stomach to digest casserole a la molinoid. That's not why I took off. Well, not the main reason. when I saw it. It's really real. No way. The Enigmo Slug actually exists. This isn't sitting well. Ooh, you might want to clear out. <laughs> now, Ooh. Enigmo Slug? Never heard of it. What's it do that's so special? Nobody knows. Everyone always thought the Enigmo Slug was just a legend. This is probably the last one in existence. Nobody's ever seen one transformed. So if we hurry, we can be the first to fire it and find out! Even better, we can be the first to get that on video! This place is incredible! It's nice to see parts of Slug Terror that are still unspoiled. <laughs> so much for being unspoiled. Huh? And so much for being the first to get here. Slug hunters, and they're after the Enigma.
to get down there before they destroy this entire jungle. No way. Second you get some of that mushroom salad in your mecha's gears, it's gonna go all And I guess we're going on foot court. Come on. Slug hunting on foot. So uncivilized. Ah, no. This is how you do it. Yeah, if you don't really care about getting the Enigma. Oh, but we are quite eager to have it. Hmm. As soon as one of you finds it, we'll be here to buy it for a very fair price. I wouldn't exactly call that fair. More like a crazy, insane mechload of money. Oh, with such riches, we could do much good for Bronto. Oh, I could finally get a new mecha beast with a comfy seat and less attitude. Or a bejeweled handbag with a comb pocket. <gasps> no, wait, a new scarf. Bronto, snap out of it. That is a lot of gold. I don't know if I could sell it. Oh, I doubt you'll have the chance. There's already a lot of competition. But if you do manage to catch it first, we'll be here waiting. gonna pay two tons of gold for you. Hey, you almost flattened us. Let me do the talking tricks. Look, we're all eager to find the Enigma, but maybe there's a less, you know, blowy up way to do it. Uh, you know what? This kid's right. Instead of using hop rocks, it'd be quicker to use flaringos and burn these trees down. <laughs> <laughs> How about next time, Eli? I do the talking. Definitely. Pronto! Tazelink's behind you! <laughs> On it! <laughs> Ooh, that didn't work. Sorry about that. Yeah, I want to go home now. Look! I think I saw the Enigma crawl under there. <laughs> Oh! Bro! Ah, oh, never mind. Just a crummy leaf. Okay, that was not cool. Huh? Whoa. Now that's a serious trap. And that is really not cool. Huh. What kind of slug are you? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Lots of slugs live here, not just the Enigma. You're tearing their cave to shreds. And look at this. It could have killed this slug. Uh, Eli, that's the Enigma. 
Huh? And that is my trap. Stalker? I uh, didn't know you were here, too. We won't get in your way. Leave. Now. <laughs> so, you did the talking this time? Are you crazy? That's Gerhold Stalker, the deadliest game hunter in Slug Terra. He doesn't do talking. They say if you see him, it's already too late. Hence why he is called SBD. Silent, but deadly. <laughs> Sorry. Well, where I'm from, silent but deadly means something else. He's right behind me now, huh? The Enigma Slug. And my trap. Now. Hey, I found him fair and square before he fell into your trap. I didn't come here to play fair. I came here for the slug with a two-ton payday. <laughs> I knew you should have done the talking. Split up! You want this slug? Okay, well, here it comes! <laughs> I missed it when you fired the Enigma. You got to tell me what it looked like when it transformed. I can't. Why not? Cuz I kind of couldn't see it. Where'd they go? Don't ask me. Cord, Eli got hit by the Enigma, and now his eyes aren't working right. Actually, I can see plenty. In fact, I think I'm seeing twice as much as I should. Here they come! <laughs> I'll take that as a no. Huh? Come on! I would suggest that perhaps we move along. Stalker could be anywhere. Yeah, right behind you. Stalker is almost as legendary as Pronto! Yeah, but for entirely different reasons. Of course! Pronto is known for his undisputed magnificence, and Stalker is known for his traps. He's probably seeded this very cave with them. That is why you all must walk in the footsteps of Pronto's expert! <laughs> <laughs> ah, you see? I found one. This locking mechanism's way high tech, but I think I see how to engineer a workaround. Thank you. <laughs> I suggest that with Eli utterly and completely useless... Dude, I can still hear, you know. Uh, sorry. Anyway, I would still suggest we leave before Stalker can find us. We can't leave. The Enigma did this to Eli, and there's no telling if it will ever wear off on its own. Huh? We need to find the Enigma to figure out how to cure him. Yeah, if Stalker doesn't have it already. Oh, I assure you, he does not. What makes you say that? Because it is right over there. And it's playing on a tripwire! Huh? I got it! You okay? 
Just a slug trank dart. You know how many of these it would take to bring down a cave troll? Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> Court! <laughs> Come on, we've got to get the Enigma before they do. But we can't just leave them. Stalker wants the Enigma, not Cord. He will be here when we return. <laughs> ah, the Enigma is close. Keep your eyes peeled. Currently the wrong guy for that job. Maybe a little zoom action will help. Yes, there it is! Ugh, is this the dumbest slug in history? No wonder there's only one of them left. <laughs> it's gonna fall! I'm okay. Pronto, it's all on you. Go! Whoa! Yeah. Track only frightened prey. If we stay still and show no fear, they will not menace us. You see? Uh, no. Now, we go for the Enigma. Uh, with confidence. Just ignore the hounds. Razor sharp teeth. Their piercing eyes. Their claws that could so easily rip you to shreds. <laughs> What happened? Did you get the Enigma? Yes. Huh? I did. That's it? You're just gonna walk away? Finish him. Wait! I wasn't complaining. I was just asking. Don't worry, Burpee. Just have to show him we're not afraid. Of course, that'd be easier if I wasn't quite so scared. Dogs can't climb trees. Huh? <sighs> but apparently slug hounds can. Chiller, Spinner, I need you. <laughs> Spinner, you're up. <laughs>
Murphy? Guys? Anybody? No slugs, no friends. Give up, kid. Get done. Can't you see that? Nope, can't really see much of anything. And if you leave with the Enigma, you're taking the best shot I've got to fix that and find my way out, and find my friends. I know that slug is worth a ton of gold to you, but it's worth a whole lot more than that to me. So as long as I can stand, I'm not giving up. You talk too much. What? That's not what I wanted! I can see! Maybe too much. traps hidden all over, but I've got the best secret weapon in this cave. <laughs> Whoa! Sure glad you make good traps there, buddy. Now, got anything you want to say to Enigma <laughs> before you never see him again? Didn't think so. Come on, let's get our friends and get out of here. So wait, the most legendary slug of legend basically just messes your eyes up and then fixes them when it hits you again? But imagine hitting the other guy with it first. It would totally take him out of the fight. And even though I couldn't see straight, it was almost like... It was letting me see more than normal, like it was showing me something else. Ah, so you're saying there's more to Enigma than meets the eye? Well, yeah, if you want to put it in the lamest way possible, <laughs> sure. Look, I believe that our <coughs> meccas should be right through there. Oh! <gasps> Now this is a surprise. Let me guess, you were expecting Stalker? <laughs> he might be a while. You're welcome to wait for him, but he doesn't have this. <laughs> well done. Name your price. Well, considering what me and all my friends just went through, I don't think I'm leaving one of them behind. <clears throat> and as one of those friends, I say you're completely wrong. Think of what that money could do for Brondo. Our card for when you change your mind. Thanks, but you may be waiting a while for that one, too. Uh, no, you won't. Uh, I will convince him. Uh, Eli, stop! Uh, think of all the things we could buy. The foot massagers, uh, the neck warmers, ruby-plated pimple poppers, <laughs> fluffy stuffed tushy pillows. I thought about it, and blowing up Black's refinery without a plan wasn't smart. Now you have second thoughts? Nope, just said it wasn't smart. But I mean, come on, those fireworks were awesome. <laughs> Phew. It was pretty cool when the place went. Now we just need to quietly slip out of this cavern and we're home free. One problem huh? with that, Eli. How are we supposed to slip out with these everywhere? Okay, you know what? This is unacceptable. Even Pronto thinks this is bad. Bad? It, uh, 
It's horrible! Where is the bravado? The genius! Ah. See? Now, that is a wanted poster. Hate to rush an artist at work, but we need an exit. Which is precisely why I, in my wisdom, have led us here. Uh, to a dead end? No, Cord, not to a dead end! To our daring escape route! What is this place? Why, the flumes, of course. The Under River. No, no, I was uh, quite the nautical mole in my day. What day was that? <laughs> mm, I think it was a Tuesday. I've heard of this place, a waterway under Slug Terra. Most people stopped using it when I was a kid. They're coming! And we've got nowhere to run! Our mechs and swim for it? I got a better idea. Cool. Wow. Show off. I modded yours too. The yellow button. <laughs> the Shane Gang are heading south in the flumes. I didn't know a Mecha Beast could shred like this. Oh, there's a lot these babies can do. I just wish they could also keep me dry. Dude, for real? You don't like water? Let's just say I take one bath a year and uh, it's under protest, all right? Yes, and I protest you only taking one bath a year. <laughs> so hardly anyone uses the flumes anymore? Why? Ah. Who wants wet, wetty wetness when you can ride in luxury on the Slug Terran Express? Sand tells him that the worst is over. You had to say it. Hands in the air, princesses! You trespassers face Malvolio Drake, master of the Cavern Seas. Whoa, 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 wait. So we didn't mean to trespass. We just kind of, um, ended up here. Here is Undertow Cavern, princesses, where the business belongs to yours truly. What business is that? 
what I look like to you? An accountant? A basket weaver? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the pirate racket, and if you want to pass, the ransom is half your slugs. <laughs> and if we refuse? Then I'll be a few slugs poorer, and you'll be short too! <laughs> Not if they can't catch us! That's the plan, Eli. Come on. Our mecha's got to be faster than a huge honking boat like that. I don't think the ship is trying to catch up to us. Mr. Watts! Yes, Captain. Show them what a barrage of frost crawlers can do. They've got cannons? Don't tell me they fire. distance between us, we're out of range. I think... Don't say it. We're in the clear! <laughs> we have got to stop saying that kind of stuff. Ready, Burpee? <laughs> well, that is exactly what I was going to do. Not so tough without your cannons, huh? huh? Can I take that back? Give them everything we've got! <laughs> oh, no. Run! Consider your offer, and we'll happily give you some of our slugs now. <laughs> ha! Nice try, Morpheus, but the price has gone up. Now it's all your slugs. <gasps> and your enthusiastic servitude. Nothing personal, princesses. <laughs> this can't get any worse. Ugh. Yeah, it can. I can't feel my toes. I'm pretty sure some of these barnacles have barnacles. This is impossible. But that's because on a ship, you must scrub counterclockwise. <laughs> now, listen to me, and I will tell you in excruciating detail exactly what you're doing wrong and how I know better. And you said this couldn't get any worse. Attention, deck monkeys. Captain Drake on deck. <laughs> Thought you said this wasn't personal. Don't flatter yourself, princess. I'm a pirate. Making you do my chores for me. It's just another day at the office. Doesn't seem like you're doing a good job, though. That's what Proto was saying. It should be done counterclockwise, like... <laughs> 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 now, this one is wasted on deck monkey duties. <laughs> you see? A man who recognizes seafaring skills. Yeah, I do, and you don't got any. But on the cold, empty sea, good distractions are hard to find. Uh, how would you like to be my new cabin mole? A promotion. <laughs> <coughs> so, uh, what sort of perks come with the title? The perk of not being tossed to the sharks over that there plank. Give him the heave -ho, boys. Oh, Oy, that's cold. In that case? I humbly accept. Now then, the reason I graced you lot with my presence, it's time to get down to the real business. <laughs> of all my ill-gotten treasure, this is the prize of my collection. Behold, every toenail clipping I've had since pirate school. Beautiful, ain't it? <sighs> Why would you do that? Because every part of me is special. Toenails are no exception. Burpee! You guys okay? You've got hundreds of slugs in there. What do you even need them all for? For... for having the most slugs. That's how you play the pirate game. Guy with the most slugs wins. 
<laughs> Don't! Stay away from my Mimki, princess. This little guy's more valuable than all you deck monkeys put together. And don't even think about trying anything other than cataloging my collection. Fang will be watching. Now get to work, deck monkeys! Ah, so, uh, just deck monkeys then, not cabin moles. Oh no, I got something much better for you, mole face. Ooh, <laughs> better? Oh, oh, oh. Rondo does not want to be cabin mole anymore! Make it stop! Make it stop! <laughs> Okay, so even if we got past Fang, our mechas are locked away and we're surrounded by sharks and pirates. Yeah, and worst of all, while we're down here, Pronto's up there partying. This isn't Pronto's fault, it's mine. I got us into this by attacking that refinery without a plan. You are harboring persons wanted by Dr. Black. Turn them over and you will not be harmed. Sounds like an opportunity to make an exit. Wait, maybe we should come up with a plan first? Fire cannons! How's this plan? Hang on! It's locked. We're trapped. Burpee! You guys all right? Burpee? It's one of Black's ships. The only way we're getting out of here is if they blast us out. Uh. Well, guess we can go now. Mr. Pirate, get me down! Why? You're drawing their fire perfectly up there! But <laughs> ah, I'm your cabin mole! Yeah, and you're doing what cabin moles are good for, providing a distraction! <laughs> Your boss can put Big Daddy Drink out of business with that train of his? What makes you think you can start now? You losers! Better learn what's mine stays mine! That's not exactly true, sir. The prisoners are escaping, and they've got our treasure. Well, except for the toenails. They pirated me? You don't pirate a pirate! That's a double pirate! Blast them! We have to reload before we can fire. Then do it now! You gotta get these running. We're not going anywhere. We'll cover you. <laughs> what do you say? Think he suffered enough? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Captain Malpronto, reporting for duty. Oh. Cannons reloaded, sir. Mr. Watts, you know how I always say it's a waste to sink a ship when you can capture the crew? Yes, sir. Feel free to waste this one. None of them are getting out of this alive. Ready, aim, and fire! <laughs> hey, we got power! Then let's go! Blast them into pulp. Yeah! 
haven't seen a battle plan this poor since pirate school. Bring us three degrees starboard and we've got him! He's gonna slug us to pieces! All right, we're outgunned, outmanned, and facing a ship twice our size. Don't worry, this time, I've got a plan. We lose him in that fog bank ahead. Hang on, everyone! He's headed for the breakers. He'll never make it through. This fool's even more clueless than I thought. Put us around the other side, and we'll clean up after. I should have tried this planning thing years ago. Rocks! See, uh, you stole my treasure, broke my ship, but here's where I out pirate you. Sir, she's going down. If we want to live to play the pirate game another day. If my ship goes down, I go with it, and so does he! Well, captain's off the deep end, boys. Unless you fancy being shark food, we've got to take that other boat. This one's all yours. How did you... That's what a Mimki does, Princess! Perfectly mimics anything a slug can do! slug like that in furnace is normally an excellent battle plan, but not when you're up against my Mickey. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm kind of new at this whole planning thing. Let's go. <laughs> Did you honestly think I'd use Burpee again? Huh. I guess I'm getting better at this planning thing after all. Hey, Eli! <laughs> so, what do you think of Drake's new boat? <laughs> Cute. Your despicable behavior brings shame to the tradition of cavern rolling. So, I quit. <laughs> Remember, counterclockwise. Nothing personal, princess. No! Me slugs, come back with me, treasure! You can't pilot that pilot! You know, Eli, with all of Drake's captured slugs, you could have yourself one heck of an arsenal. You're right. I could. 
But that's not how I play the pirate game. So, how do you want to get back home? I guess we could take the flumes now that those pirates are out of business. Oh, no. No way! I've had enough water to last me five years with the showers. You really want to smell what happens when I don't shower for ten? Let's take the road. Yeah, road. The road sounds good. 